Who down in Whoville at Christmas a lot. But the Grinch lived just north of Whoville did not. The Grinch hated Christmas, the whole Christmas season. Now please don't ask why. No one quite knows the reason. It could be his head was screwed on just right. It could be perhaps that his shoes were too tight. But I think the most likely reason of all may have been that his heart was two sizes too small. But whatever the reason, his heart or his shoes, he stood there on Christmas Eve hating the hoots. Staring down from his cave with a sour, grinchy frown at the warm lighted windows of the one in their town. For he knew every who down in the little money. Was busy now, hanging a mistletoe wreath. And they're hanging their stockings, he snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow's Christmas, it's practically here. Then he growled with his grinch fingers and other two drumming. I must find some way to stop Christmas from coming. <clears throat> For tomorrow, he knew. All the who girls and boys would wake bright and early. And they'd rush to their toys. And then? All the noise, the noise, 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 noise. That's the one thing he hated. The noise, 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 noise. Then the who's, young and old, would sit down to a feast. And they feast, and they feast, and they feast, 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 feast. They would feast on hoop pudding and rare food roast beef, which was something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. And then they do something you like least of all. Every who then a hoozle, the tall and the small, would stand close together with Christmas bells ringing. And they'd stand hand in hand, and the who's would start singing. They'd sing. And they'd sing. And they sing, 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 sing. And the more the Grinch thought of this new Christmas thing, the more the Grinch thought. I must stop this whole thing. Why put 50 theos I've put up with it now? I must stop this Christmas from coming. But how? Then he got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. I know just what to do. The Grinch laughed in his throat. And he made quick Santa Claus hat and a coat. And he chuckled and plucked. What a great country trip. With this hat, coat, and this hat, I look just like St. Nick. All I need is a reindeer. The Grinch looked around, but since reindeer are scarce, there are none to be found. Did that stop the old Grinch? No. The Grinch simply said, If I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max. Then he took some red thread. And he tied a tiny corn to the top of his head. Then? He lit some bags. And some old empty sacks. On a ramshackle sled. And he hitched up old Max. Then the grump said, Get up! And the sleigh started down towards the homes where were the hoos. Lay a snooze in their town. All the windows were dark. Quiet snow filled the air. All the hoos were all dreaming, sweet dreams without care. When he came to the first little house on the square. This is stop number one, the old crunchy closet. And he climbed into the roof and he bags in his fist. And he slid down the chimney. A rather tight pinch. But if Santa could do it, so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment or two. Then he stuck his head out of the fireplace blue. Well, the only two stockings all hung in a row. These stockings, he grinned, were the first things to go. Then he slithered and slung with a smile most unpleasant. Around the whole room and took every present. Not the presents! Pop guns. And bicycles. Roller skates. Drums. Checkered boards. Tricycles. Popcorn. And plums. And he stuffed them in bags. Then the Grinch, very nimbly, stuffed all the bags one by one up the chimney. Then he slunk to the ice box. He took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the Roast Beast. Not the Roast Beast. He cleaned out the ice box as quick as a flash. But that Grinch even took the last can of Who Hash. When he stuffed all the food up the chimney with glee. And now, grinned the Grinch, I will stuff up the tree. And the Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to shove. When he heard a small sound like a coo of a dove. He turned around fast, and he saw a small who, little Cindy Lou, who was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by this tiny who daughter, who had gotten out of bed for a cup of cold water. She stared at the Grinch and said, Santa Claus, why? Why are you taking your Christmas tree? Why? But you know that old Grinch was so smart and so slick, he thought up a lie, and he thought it up quick. Why, my sweet little tot, the fake Santa Claus of mine. There's a lot on this tree that won't light on one side, so I'm taking it home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then I'll bring it back here. <clears throat> and Fib fooled the child. Then he patted her head. <clears throat> and he got her a drink, and he sent her to bed. And when Cindy Lou Who went to bed with her cup, he went to the tree and stuffed the tree up. And the last thing he took was a log for that fire. And he went up the chimney. Himself, the old liar. On the walls, he left nothing but the hooks and some wire. And the one speck of food. That he left in the house was a crumb that was even too small for a mouse. Then he did the same thing to the other who's houses, leaving crumbs much too small for the other who's houses. It was quarter past dawn. All the who's still abed. All the who, all the who's still snooze. And he packed up his sled 
packed it up with our presents. The ribbons. The wrappings. The tags. And the tinsel. The trimmings. The trapping. 3,000 feet up. Up the side of Mount Crumpet. He rode with his load to the tip top to dump it. Poo poo to the hooves. Who's preciously humming? They're finding out now that no Christmas is coming. They're just waking up and know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two. Then the who's down in Whoville will cry, Boo hoo. That's a noise. Run the Grinch. That I simply must hear. So he paused. And the Grinch put his hand to his ear. And he did hear a sound rising over the snow. It started in the mouth. Then it started to grow. But the sound wasn't sad. Why, this sound sounded merry. It couldn't be so. But it was merry. Very. He stared down at Whoville. The Grinch popped his eyes. Then he shook. What he saw was a shocking surprise. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small, was singing without any presents at all. He hadn't stopped Christmas from coming. It came. Somehow or other, it came just the same. And the Grinch, with his Grinch feet ice cold in the snow, stood puzzling and puzzling. How could it be so? It came without ribbons. It came without... Tags, it came without packages, boxes, or bags. And he puzzled three hours till his puzzler was sore. Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. Maybe Christmas. He thought, it doesn't come from a straw. Maybe Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, in Whoville, they say. That the Grinch's small heart grew three sizes that day. And the minute his heart didn't feel quite so tight. He went with his load through the bright morning light. And he brought back the toys. And the food to the Grinch. <coughs> and he. He himself. The Grinch called those beasts. Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas.